It's really a nice area here. Saw some people over there playing hockey. So maybe I'll just set up camp here. And just chill out. Nice view of the lake. Right here. Well, hello there everyone. And today I went for a drive out to a conservation area and it's really beautiful out here here's my current view and I'm just chilling and relaxing today I'm gonna do some computing maybe read oh there we go that's a better I just changed the lighting on this camera but you can actually see outside and this is sort of not too far away from the city so it's quite beautiful and this is just the entranceway as well but I thought wow the entranceway looks great so I'm just gonna stay where I am right now so in addition to these lights which I don't know if I posted a video when I installed it I also added one of these things here a hook for my coat and jacket and so now I could do this kind of thing. And if you've been on this channel before, you may notice this thing up here. Yeah, I created a shelf just really quickly. I got a chance to work on something. And it's using some plywood that I got from a warehouse. It was like five bucks for a sheet. I picked it up from, from Facebook and that was from a warehouse. So it's warehouse plywood and you know it doesn't look secure but it's very secure and this is what my kitchen looks like now. It's a bit a bit of a different dynamic. Hold on, let me take out that jacket. And there we go. And it tidies things up a little more. I kind of like it uh because uh lots more space. And the part that I'm not too crazy about is this part of the panel it, it seems kind of off a bit but right now it's functional and it's working for me and I'm it's allowed me to sort of organize things a lot better and it's a really simple construction I did have to use these little L bracket things right here to secure it and I use this as a ledge right there right in the middle of the camera and then I use some more L, L brackets over here because that was the only piece that I had. And for the top there, you'll see it. One second, let me just clear it out. I just had that at the top there. I just moved it up, moved it out. I'm gonna have some of that later. So right over here, right there. So so that way it's nice and secure. And again, it's right at the, the top of this thing here, the the roof. And here's the current look of my kitchen. One of the things I want to work on as well is the garbage area where I put my garbage. Right now it's sort of just, just this thing that's hanging there with a plastic bag. I like something a little more, a little neater because I'm constantly moving it from here to there. Everywhere I don't have a central location for it. Granted there's not a lot of room in this van. It's a tiny, 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 tiny cabin. But seriously, look at this view. It's quite nice and right here are the plans that I made for that that uh, top shelf and so very simple I, I create a cut list so first of all I, I make I take the measurements and this sort of changes along the way as I'm working on it as I'm starting to install it I did initially sort of make it out of cardboard but I didn't have enough cardboard so I ended up just winging it and I found that I cut it too high so I added an extra piece to it and that seemed to kind of work out a bit better uh, because I added a ledge instead of screwing it on to the uh, the I guess the bulkhead separator this thing here I'm calling it the bulkhead separator I really have to get my terms in place sorry guys and so when I'm building this stuff, 
you know, what I do is I take the measurement, but then I understand that at some point I have to take into account the width, uh, rather the thickness of the plywood. So for example, if it's 12 inches and I know it's going to be sort of butt next to another plywood and I'm using a, a quarter inch plywood or a half inch plywood, I take that into account. So instead of 12 inches, it would be something like, you know, you know, 12 minus uh, one. So for so half an inch per plywood. So that would be 11. Wow! See that I did math on the fly. See kids, stay in school. See there even says so right there. 0.5 inches thick ply. You know what? Maybe I should work on my logo. So do you hear that? That's my diesel heater running. And this is my, currently my, this is currently my wiring setup. And I don't know if you guys remember my solar panels from before, but you notice the wood, I didn't treat them because I didn't know if I was gonna go with this, but by that time, I was out of time. Okay, here we go. So, well, hello there. Okay, so I think uh, by this time I did some video edits and I showed you guys a few of the things that I did. For example, I showed you the top shelf that I created and also the hook and the lights and I did a bunch of other things that I, I don't think I created a video for just because I've been really busy. Uh, work's been really busy and just overall um, everything has been really busy I've, I've all, but I've been I've been mostly doing some planning so happy about that in terms of the van build updates um, that's in the works I'm really looking forward to spring when I can actually work on a lot of this stuff so that my fingers aren't freezing but I do get a chance every so often to work on like a small project for example the the shelf unit that I created that I just showed you earlier at least I hope I showed you earlier because that would have made it into this video cut. Oh, uh, as an aside, somebody had asked me at one time we knew what I used to edit my videos. And way, way back in the day, there was a program called Adobe Premiere, and I think it's still around. And I think it's still just as expensive. Uh, there was also Video Fusion that I've used. I've used several different types of editing software. Uh, even an Avid system. I don't know if any of you remember that Avid. We could probably do all kinds of comparisons and nostalgia but I ended up using an online or rather uh, an in-app video editor. I, I do all my edits on a phone and the one that I use is called Viva Cut. Now I used something else before I can't remember what it was but this one here seems to do it for me it's not that difficult to use and I think it was like three dollars or something 395 so if you buy Tim Hortons coffee or maybe even a Starbucks that's a half a Starbucks and that's two Tim Hortons coffees so that's something you could use you know if you're starting up your own little YouTube channel if you're doing something like this uh, I like it um, and it's easy to use and it's got those cool little effects at the end of the video I usually add like a particle effect and so that makes it look kind of prettier and everything else but aside from that um, looking to just take out as much stuff out of this van that isn't needed and so far I'm, I'm doing that the other thing I would like to do is just to sort of cover up the the clutter and by covering up the clutter I think it sort of creates a, a much more peaceful environment but you know what's really cool you know what I'm really happy about first of all I'm really happy about this view but also my little seating area that I that I made here. I'll see if I can cut to a video on that. Hold on, okay guys. So I'm talking about this seating area and it's worked out really well. And what it is, whoops, sorry. And what it is, it's, it's literally underneath that is my pantry. And wow, the, the, the lighting's awful. And I just put some pillows around it and that comfy blanket that I picked up from Giant Tiger. And 
again, it's just a bunch of boxes underneath it, storage boxes that I had in the van, and I use it as a seat. So I might, I might do something with it. That's boy, this lighting's awful. Just can't seem to can't seem to get it right. Anyway, I think you guys get it. Well, there we go. That's much better. But uh, I'm looking at formalizing this design. So now, on the subject of formalizing the design, I mean, what I mean is when I was working on this stuff. Um, I originally created it out of cardboard and then from that based on how my body interacted with the rest of the van I started to create it using ply so whatever I could find I, I use that and now what I'm finding is I'm finding I'm finding that the layout that I originally thought I would like actually isn't going to be the layout that I'm going to be going with so as I sort of spend more time in my in my van dwelling um, I'm finding that hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do this instead. I had thought that I was going to You know have a particular layout, but I'm finding I also have a different bed layout in mind as well. So uh, It's constantly transformative and I don't think it's ever going to stop because there's always something that as your as your life changes and as your body changes and as as you sort of work through this you're finding that there are certain things that's going to change and also just some maybe you, you might pick up something new you know and that's gonna need some space but if that is ever the case what I would definitely need to do is to you know remove whatever it was that I didn't need and make space for it like, because just you have a finite amount of space in this tiny 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 cabin and I always say it this minivan but I, I you know but I've actually seen smaller smaller vehicles and like you know it's like micro micro vans and you know my hats off to them anyone who can ever work with that kind of stuff but okay I think that's about it aside from that um, I'm just going to go for a hike today and I'm going to relax a bit and lounge While we're waiting, I just wanted to show you this cool little van that I got. It was a present for my van. And adding the top shelf really helped me to organize things a bit more. But the reality for me is to organize it better, it's just a matter of just getting rid of stuff. Yo, check it out. It's like bubbling or something. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Uh, catching up on some of my reading and also planning out the stuff for spring on what I'm going to be building. And uh, you already saw that guy, right? That monstrosity. But hopefully, you know, it's all coming together. And if there's one thing for sure is I learned a lot uh, building out this tiny, 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 tiny cabin minivan. So who knows? Maybe I might get a Transit or a Promaster. You know, I've been hearing some really crazy stuff about the Promaster. And Sprinter is always good, but we'll see. I'm, I'm up in the air. I'm even thinking of a Chevy Express. Hmm? How about that? Okay, guys. Bye-bye. And remember, you're awesome, okay? You got to remember that, that you can do stuff. You can plan it out, and then you can execute against it. So it's always good to remind yourself that uh, you're pretty awesome and you can do stuff. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. my channel by commenting and subscribing it's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen and if you believe someone else may benefit please share the video 
of my curated playlist.